For that breaking news, the woman charged in the death of her fiance's eight-year-old son this afternoon found guilty of second degree murder. Thomas Valva died of hypothermia after being forced to sleep in his father's frigid garage. The jury also finding Angelina Polina guilty on four counts of endangering the welfare of a child. Stacey Sager was in the courtroom today. She joins us live with details and Stacey Polina was visibly shaken when that verdict was read. Well, that's right, Sade. She was shaken, but the jurors are telling us this verdict should have come as no surprise. They came out here. They shared their feelings with us about this emotional case. We can also tell you the judge, the judge met with the jurors after the verdict and told them that he fully supports this verdict. You know, Angela Polina took the stand in her own defense, but ultimately that strategy backfired. How do you find the defendant, Angela Polina, as to count one murder in a second degree? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. She sat quietly in court, head in hands and no tears, as the jury of eight men and four women in this case found Angela Polina guilty on all counts, guilty of second degree murder with depraved indifference. After eight year old Thomas Valva froze to death nearly three years ago, Thomas and his brother Anthony, who were living with autism, forced to sleep in their frigid garage here in Center Mariches in a case that sickened anyone with a soul, the jurors included, particularly after they learned Child Protective Services knew. He told them he's sleeping in the garage. He told them they make him go poop in the backyard, and they did nothing. That's when I cried. We will continue to uh, look at uh, and, and try to learn lessons from, from what happened in this case uh, and to take steps to make sure that something like this never, ever again happens in Suffolk County. It was back in November, Michael Valva, Thomas's father, was also convicted in the murder and received the maximum sentence of 25 years to life. Little Thomas sleeping in his own excrement and then hosed off in the freezing cold driveway. Polina's defense attorney taking a gamble by putting her on the stand in her own defense. It backfired. Yeah, I, I thought she was not guilty. I didn't think that they met their burden. It's very, I'm very upset, you know, so... Um, and obviously she's devastated, so... I was very sad to, to be... <laughs> to be sending someone to jail for, for murdering a child. Um, but I looked at her, and, uh, and I didn't look at her a whole lot, but I think she knew it was coming. And as you can see, how upsetting this must have been to be a juror sitting in the courtroom for this case. The district attorney here in Suffolk County telling reporters Angela Polina's story ends here, but the story of Thomas Valva, that story will not be forgotten. Polina's sentencing set for April 11th.